Hello, good afternoon. Travel firms have criticised the government's decision to keep quarantine rules in place for travellers returning to England and Wales from France, even if they're fully vaccinated. For all other Amber List countries, the rules relax on Monday, with adults who've been double jabbed in the UK no longer needing to isolate for 10 days on arrival. Our business correspondent, Vishala Sripathma, has more. The Eiffel Tower, an iconic symbol of Paris, known for its architectural ingenuity, reopened to tourists this week. But despite it being only hours away for many Brits, it might prove to be a destination too far, given these latest changes to quarantine rules for arrivals from France. It's thrown plans for these travellers into disarray. It's very confusing. I'm trying my hardest to follow the rules, but I don't understand the rules. So. I don't know. At this point, I'm going on my holiday, and whatever happens, happens. So. <laughs> it's just constantly changing. It actually feels more like political than anything else. Uh, very confusing. Everything is really badly handled. Their disappointment is echoed by the travel industry, who had hoped that the quarantine free travel to fully vaccinated rivals from ambulance countries like France would give people more confidence when booking trips. That confidence now, for many, has been shattered. Everything we do is about mitigating risk when we're taking travellers to different destinations. However, the roadmap has been in place. The restrictions are easing as of Monday. You know, we are seeing the rest of the, the, you know, the globe, US and Europe, are travelling freely. We have a very successful deployment of the vaccine um, and we still cannot unlock international travel to countries with a lower case in virus than, than we have. The government is insistent that the decision was made in the interest of public health, with there being a widespread the beta variant in France. France is a popular destination for Brits. Its proximity, better weather and golden beaches are all part of its allure, making it the second most visited country pre-pandemic from people in the UK. In fact, 500,000 Brits were due to travel through the country this weekend. But for many, these changes will mean a trip across the Channel remains uncertain. For Charlotte Sripathma, BBC News. The change in travel restrictions come as the Conservative former Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, has warned that lockdown restrictions may have to be reimposed in the autumn if case numbers continue to rise here throughout the summer. It comes as the largest ever rollout of flu vaccine in England has been announced hoping to reach 35 million people this winter. Our health correspondent, Anna Collinson, reports. A winter of